Hey, hey, what's going on? I know it has been a hot minute since I've done a color grading tutorial for y'all, but I've recently been hyped up about some of the commercial projects I've been working on. Uh, so I wanted to take a clip from one of those shoots and show you how I took it from this to this. So I don't want to really waste any more of your time. So let's get into it. All right, what's going on? What's going on? So we're in DaVinci Resolve 17 today. I don't have 18 downloaded yet, even though probably like y'all's, I'm super hyped about the freaking object mask feature and the depth map. I mean, that stuff is nuts. Um, kudos to DaVinci. Just keep pushing stuff forward. So it's awesome to see. But um, let's get back into color grading here. So uh, over on the right hand side here up top, you're going to see my current node structure. And I just like to preface this works really well for my workflow. So you're not going to see me pulling a lot of keys. It's more so going to be a lot of global uh, adjustments. It's just more efficient for me. And I find it works great. And you're going to see that we're going to be able to get to a great look in a pretty short amount of time. So um, the first note here is NR. So just our noise reduction, it's turned off right now just to make things a little bit more efficient while grading. Um, then our next node is our primaries node. So this is going to handle contrast, overall tone of image, saturation, that sort of thing, just basic stuff. Adjustment is going to be for our white balance um, if we need to adjust it there. HSL node is for our LUT um, that I have, which is just hue, saturation, and lumens, luminance. So just a little bit of adjustment of the colors. Our fifth node is going to be for the look. So once everything is color corrected, we're going to apply a little bit of a color grade to it just to bring everything out. Um, so overall sharpening to the image at the end. Glow if we want to use it. I think it's just personal preference. And then CSTR color space transform. And you can see here, um, this was shot on black magic. So input color space, input gamma, film gen five. And then of course we have our standard rec 709 gamma 2.4 format. Okay. So let's dive into this, shall we? So we have our primary node here that we're going to start. We're going to go down over here to contrast and get this started. So I'm going to start bringing this up a little bit and you're probably like, okay, like how do you know when to necessarily stop with contrast? And the biggest things that I'm looking for are more so the highlights and fall off in the skin. So you can see here, if I really crank this, this is already, in my opinion, it's not, it's not flattering. It's not flattering. So um, we're going to bring this down. I'm going to park it right now about 1, 1.6-ish, 1 somewhere around there. And then from here, I'm going to adjust my pivot. And I'm just going to lift that up ever so slightly. And then I'm also going to increase our saturation. I'm going to put that probably at about 75 to 80. I'm going to do actually more than I would typically do. And th the reason for that is so this clip, not in particular is going to be a good example, but when you push the saturation a little bit more to start, it's a lot easier to see problem areas. So when you are color correcting the image, image, it's a lot easier to see before you actually apply a grade to it. So um, I'm just going to put this probably about right around 80. And then you all know from some of my previous episodes, if you watch them, I freaking love mid-tone details. So uh, I'm going to bring that down to probably about minus 30, I find, or minus 28 in this case is uh, kind of a sweet spot there. And you can see it really, I mean, just like just in those couple adjustments, I mean, look at how, f I mean, it's awesome, right? So um, we're going to move on here and we're going to go to our wheels now. So lift gamma gain. And I'm going to start adjusting these. So of course, I'm looking at my scopes down here. I don't want anything necessarily clipping. So I'm going to lift up my gamma a little bit. Um, in this clip, I'm actually going to lift up my gain and actually bring my gamma back down because I want a little bit, a little bit more punch. Um, and here's a really good example where I'm actually going to go back to my contrast and actually lift this up just a little bit more. And you know, a lot of people, it, color grading, it's so much of a dance between some of these controls, especially in the primaries, um, where you don't have to just set it and forget it, right? So like you just saw me there, just going back to contrast, it's okay. Um, where it's like, okay, I need to make a little bit more of a tweak here. And then I'm going back on my color wheel. So I'm going to lift gamma gain and adjusting how I need to. And you can see here, I mean, these aren't you know, extreme adjustments. It's very subtle what we're doing here. Okay. So 
Um, a little goes a long way in color grading, hopefully, as you're seeing here. So I like where the image overall is as far as from a tone perspective. So now I'm going to actually move to the next node and do a white balance um, adjustment here. Now, the white balance is pretty looking pretty good, but I know on this image in particular, I'm going to want to naturally actually warm it up. And so I'm actually going to go over to the camera raw settings because this is a, a non-destructive way of doing it because you're shooting in raw. So you already have that information available. So if you can, you should absolutely adjust the temperature in here rather than adjusting it in the primaries, okay? So I'm gonna go in here and bring this color temperature up um, probably to about 8,500. And then I'm gonna bring the tint up just a just a hair uh, more towards the magenta side. And you can see here now we're already getting a much more just a, a vibe um, to the image. So our next node HSL, um, you can see here just make some subtle adjustments. It's nothing crazy. Um, just a personal look uh, that I like. And I think it makes the skin looks a little bit a little bit more flattering. Uh, and now we're going to go into the look node. So I'm going to start here with my gamma. And I'm going to be pushing this up more towards the uh, orange yellowish hue here and kind of finding a sweet spot. And then I'm going to go over to the gain and I'm going to bring this over to the blue here or teal to start and then kind of push it up towards the magenta. And some of the things I'm looking at is really her skin. I mean, that's obviously the emphasis here. And I just want to make sure that is looking the way that too okay so um and i'm very much just doing a dance between just the gamma and gain right now um and again you're just seeing some very subtle adjustments i mean look at before and after i mean it's nothing too crazy and there's probably a little bit more red than i would want so i'm gonna move the gain a little bit more actually towards um the teal down here area okay and you can see before and after very subtle and i'm going to actually bring the gain up a little bit more and again this is a good example like it's a, it's a dance between them both you know i'm just kind of going back and forth and then i might play around with the lift a little bit here and see what we're getting or if i like a lot of times i yeah i think we're just going to leave it parked where it, where it was. So we're not going to mess with the lift personally on this clip. And I really like where it's at. So we have the sharpening here that's already applied. Um, if you don't know a great way to apply sharpening works well, uh, radius, and then just bringing this down um, a couple points. And then we're going to turn on our glow feature here. And this is one of my favorite tools in uh, DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, it just overall just gives a nice kind of brightness but good look um, to the image just a little bit more pop and then at the end we're gonna so you could zoom in here and we're gonna apply our noise reduction and so if you want to see that again nothing crazy over here so we have lumen chrome probably about five um you know this was shot pretty clean so i might actually bring this down a little bit um more so i noticed with black magic footage uh, it's more suffers from that kind of digital noise or that chroma noise. So this is around like 10 or 12. That's more of what you're trying to get out. I think specifically that you see with this camera, that really cleans it up. So, and this, uh, this is our image y'all right here. Look at, so before and after, look at that. super clean. So before and after like, Love it. Love it. And so hopefully this shows you that, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time on these clips to really get a great, clean looking image out of it. Um, so hopefully this helped you. And if there are any questions that you have, or maybe something you'd like to see or some sort of tutorial on this channel, uh, let me know. Cause I do plan on producing a lot more content and just trying to help um y'all out because i this is definitely a huge passion of mine i love color grading um i love filming so and hopefully there's gonna be a lot more content coming out on this channel soon so uh please subscribe if you love this content or, or drop a comment below um i'd love to hear from you but uh until the next one
Later, guys.